Hey there, what's going on? In today's video, I am going to be solving a hard problem. This problem is called critical connections in a network. So let me just go through this problem. In this problem, you will be given a graph of size n nodes. So the label will be num numbered from 0 to n minus 1 and a connection array. So for an example, uh, you can see 0, 1 is connected via an edge, 1, 2 is connected, 2, 0 is connected and so on. So you need to output what are the critical edges. So critical edges are those edge. If we delete that edge from the graph, then the entire graph will be disconnected. Or in the other words, you can say that if we delete that edge, then the graph will have more than one component. For an example, in this case, one three is a critical connection because if we disconnect that edge, then you will not be able to reach three from any other vertex. But uh, Y10 is not a critical connection because if we discard this edge, then you can still reach uh, to all the other vertex uh, from here. So the naive approach to solve this problem is to traverse this list and disconnect that connection, then call BFS or DFS for finding uh, the number of com components in the graph. So if it's more than one, then definitely this connection gonna be a critical connection and after doing that we need to restore that connection again so the time complexity for this approach will be order of e multiplied by v plus e and if you submit this code then you are definitely gonna be getting a time limit exceeded error so the best way to solve this problem is to use tarzan's algorithm so in this video let's try to see what is the idea and intuition behind that algorithm all right, let's try to visualize Tarzan's algorithm in picture. The idea behind Tarzan's algorithm is to maintain two properties for each vertex. One is label or unique identifier, other one is low. So again, we will be using depth for search to search in the graph. The basic idea behind this is when we discover a node, we assign some unique identity, unique identifier to that node and low will be the same as the uh, identifier. Now low is basically the low uh, the no the vertex having lowest ID connected to that vertex. So once we discover a case that low of the current vertex is already lower than its neighbor, it means that uh, the connection between these two is acting as a bridge, and this that must be the critical connection. It might not make any sense right now, but believe me, if let me just go through this entire process, and it will make a lot of sense. Okay, we will start from the zero with vertex. Initially, the level is zero and low is exactly same as its level. Now we will apply depth for search algorithm over here. We can choose any of the neighbor from one and two. Let's just go to two. Now level for two will be one and low for two will be exactly same as its level right now before doing, before completing the depth for search. Now from two, I can call one and level of one will be two and low will be two. Now notice here that all of the neighbor of one is already been visited. For in the in this case, what we do is we choose the lowest possible uh, level or, or lowest possible low value which is connected to this node. Here in this case, uh, the low of one will be updated to uh, zero because the low of zero is zero. Again, one we one is done doing that first search, so it will return to its parent two. Now two will also update the same value. Now from two, we will keep continue doing the depth first search. So it will go to three. The uh, The level for three is exactly same and low is exactly same as its level. Now from three, we uh, do a recursive call to four with the level four and low four. Again, we will go to five. Now from five, uh, there are no such unvisited neighbors. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna update its low value. So here in this case, the, the lowest possible neighbor uh, lowest possible vertex it's connected to is three so it will update the value of low to three again five is done doing that for search it will return back to four and four will also update its low value to three now from three uh, three is already done doing that for search so it will return to two now in this case you can see that a low of two is already lower than its neighbor it means that its neighbor is not connected to the exact same node with the lowest ID that the current node, that is the two is connected. It means that three is connected to zero via the current edge. So this edge is acting as a bridge between 
two components so if we delete this current edge then definitely the graph will be disconnected so obviously this edge 2 3 is a critical edge all right now we can start writing the code straight away before before writing the actual code let me just declare the data structures that we are going to be using we cannot deal with this connection array so i would like to convert this into some adjacency list so for that i'm going to be using an array of link list array of array list so it will be array of list of integer and we also need to have some result which will be having the same type as this because i don't want to pass uh, the created instance in each uh, DFS call. So better to create it over here. It will be, let me just copy that. All right, now we need to have some global uh, counter for this which will calculate the depth and assign e uh, unique id to each and every vertex that we discover now the other data structures that we need uh, we need to have some level array and and a low array so level will contain the unique id and low will contain the lowest possible uh, the vertex with lowest possible id which is connected to the current vertex and we need to have another array which is okay so we need to have another array which will store whether a vertex has been visited or not so it will be of type boolean all right now we are good to go and write our code the first thing we need to do is we need to allocate the memory for this graph on the basis of number of nodes so it will be an array of new new uh, uh, it will be a new array list array of size n now we have created uh, we have created an array but still all the entries will be null over here so we need to iterate uh, from 0 to n and manually assign a new array list to each of this entry all right our adjacent our adjacency list has been created now what we need to do is we need to convert this connections into adjacency list so for that case uh, i'm going to be iterating over this uh, connections so this is the list of integer uh, let me just call it edge now the first thing that I would like to get is the first connection, the first node. So let's get the zero with element and J will be edge dot get one. Now, as it's a undirected graph, then I will have to add this entry one to zero with list uh, j to the ith list as well as i to the jth list. So let's just do that. Uh, again the same thing all right now we can start writing our dfs function so d we will we will like to write a dfs which will uh, take all the connections and the start vertex which is in this case will be zero and a parent so Initially, we don't have any parent, so we can pass minus one. And after uh, doing the DFS, we will be having all the data populated inside the result. So let me just return result. All right. Now let's write the DFS method over here. So this uh, will this will take a connection same as this. connections all right so whenever we discover a node what we are going to be doing is we are going to be assigning some unique ident id to that node so 
first thing we need to do is uh, we need to ch uh, check that this node is visited uh, so visited node will be true and level for that node will be depth and lowest possible node which is connected to this node will be depth and in the next time we need to increment depth so it's better to increment depth right now so this will act as a post increment all right now what we need to check over here is we need to loop we need to iterate all the number of the current node so we that we can get uh, from that we can get uh, from this adjacency list so it will be inside this entry now if parent is same as neighbor then it means that we have called this uh, dfs for the same uh, for, for the same vertex again so we need not to do anything we can continue the process and then i need to check if the node is not already visited so if the node is not already visited what i am going to be doing is i'm going to be calculating uh, i'm going to be i'm going to be calling dfs function for this node with the connections and the node will be neighbor and the parent will be the current node so after the dfs we need to check the low values uh, for th this connection so whenever we uh, try to call a dfs we need to update the low of the current node to the lowest possible node connected to this node so this will be simply math dot mean low of the current node and low of the neighbor all right so now we need to check if the low of the current node is already lower than its neighbor if that's the case then it means that its neighbor is connected uh, it, its neighbor is not connected to the lowest possible node that the current node has been connected so the neighbor is only connected to that node via the current node so it means that uh, the the edge is definitely gonna be a critical edge so if we delete that edge uh, then the graph will become disconnected so how do we check that we already updated this uh, low so we can get that data from the label of that node if label of node is greater than low of its neighbor uh, then we can say that critical edge so result result dot add uh, it's gonna be arrays dot arrays dot as list and this is node and neighbor all right now if it's visited already then what we need to check is we need to simply update the loo that's it we are done let's just run this code okay i haven't added the return type cannot find symbol neighbor okay it should be node null pointer exception okay i haven't allocated the memory for visited as well as low so let's just do that label will be new int of size n low will be new int of size n and visited will be same Let's try to submit this code. All right, it's accepted. So that was it 
for this video. If you like this video, please uh, like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.